Let's look at programming the Revic BOR-10B Ballistic Range Finding Binocular with the Revic Ops app. This is a, actually very, very simple. In the new device, we've set it up so that you can program one ballistic profile at a time. We found that that really simplifies the concern for having the right profile loaded or checking to make sure that the profile is complete. It's so easy to program from the app that you just don't need to have multiple profiles. So if you want to program, the first thing you do is fire up the device. I can see that my Bluetooth icon is flashing. It's looking for a device to pair to. Now, if the Bluetooth icon is not flashing, that means that you've turned the Bluetooth off. You need to go to the settings menu, navigate to the Bluetooth setting, and then change it to on, and then you'll have a flashing icon. So I've got the Revic Ops app open. I've got my module list here. I've got all my different modules I can use. I'm gonna to go to the profile and check this profile real quick and make sure I'm happy with all of the settings. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the ballistic turret on so I'm getting a shoot to range. All right, so that looks good. Now with that done from the module page, I can click that little sync icon. Now it's showing me my binos. I'm gonna click on that to connect. Once it's connected, it shows me a solid white. So I'm ready to pick this profile right here and then sync the selected. Boom, it's done, completed. And to double check, we can just navigate by three seconds on the menu button and I'm gonna go to the mode. There we go, select it. There we go. That shows that I've got my seven PRC profile in there. Okay, we'll hit fire to save that one. Okay, the device is loaded with the right profile. It's ready to do some cool stuff. That was a quick overview. I think you'll find that one profile synced from your phone is faster than navigating a menu with 10 different profiles in it. It's easy to verify your data and it's easy to send it without getting into the menu system. So the next set of videos we have are really gonna take a deep dive into wind vector entry, ranging with ballistics, all of our different measurement modes for ranging, and you don't wanna miss out on those videos, so make sure you tune in.